Hi everybody, this is Tech Teen Eleven here, back with you with another video about the Camtasia Studio Seven. In my last video, I've showed you how to get Camtasia Studio Seven, um, 720p HD through QuickTime and, um, th yeah, through QuickTime. This time, I'm going to show you how to get 10 full HD, full HD 1080p, um, and I'm sorry about the Mac users with QuickTime because I can't find really anything to do with you guys yet. Uh, I might have another video coming up soon. Probably not. Um, this is usually only for um, Windows uh, Windows users that has Windows Media Player. Usually I would recommend using like Vista or 7 um, because they have Windows Media 11 and 12 and which is really helpful for this type of uh, this type of um productions so let's get started first what you want to do is go all the way up here to import media i'm going to pick an example media that i recorded with Camtasia Studio 7 um, then i'm going to add it to the timeline then what you want to do is go up here to produce and share and go all the way down to add and edit preset new we're going to name this YouTube 1080p HD. And since I already made one, I'm going to make this two. You don't have to add the two. And you want to click on Windows Media Video, WMV. Click on Next. Keep going. And what you want to do here is just put in your, s put in the, um, no, what you want to do here is just put in 920 by 1080 and that's all you have to do to make your uh, make your videos HD and click on next uh, you can choose to add a watermark or not I'm not going to and then click on finish and then close it and I'm not going to show you the rendering process because it's pretty straightforward. It renders and then it shows up in your um then it shows up in your files and then you can choose to, uh, then you just upload it to YouTube how it is. And I just want to I just want to recommend that using Camtasia Studio 7 is just amazing. Especially how the if you've if you've been a Camtasia Studio um, user for a couple of uh, since five, um, you could see the difference between five, six, and seven. It's just all uh, it's just amazing, and there's nothing more I can say that would uh, that would just change that fact. Well, technically it's not a fact; it's an opinion, but you get the idea. But anyway, thank you for watching, and see you next time.